Okay, yesterday we saw a dig from the Mishnah. The Mishnah said, in which which Nazikin are you chayiv? The chasen she'en lehem me'ila. The chasen that there's no din of me'ila. So the Gemara made a a dig, an inference. Me'il, me'ilu hu deles v'hu. There's no din of me'ila, but mikdash kachi, but it's what is kaidesh. We wanted to say it's a it's a going to according to Rabbi Yossi Aglili, who says that kachim kalim is mum in bailim. That kachim kalim is mum in bailim. And the Gemara asked on, on Rabbi Yossi Aglili, and we concluded in the end, when does he say it? L'chayra, he says it by Shlomim, but he wouldn't admit by Matnis Kahuna, Bechar, even though Bechar is Kachim Kalim, even though Bechar is Kachim Kalim, nonetheless, there would be a, there, it would not be Mom and Bailam. Okay, that's where we left off. A distinction between Shlomim and Matnis Kahuna, vis-a-vis whether it's Mom and Bailam or not. So now we're going to analyze it uh, on itself. Gufa, you give me at Aleph, we have four lines down. Gufa, the Pusik says, Right, the pus the pasuk that was speaking this is the pasuk by Asham Gezelos. Right, this is the pasuk by Asham Gezelos. David Ben Yisrael Isha Yisha Kiyasu Mikol Chata Saadam Limol Mal Hashem for Ashma Ben Nefesh Ahi. I can't believe I'm reading a pasuk that has nothing whatsoever to do with it because I'm on page Tesvav instead of page Yud Gimel. Okay, Nefesh Kisechta Umol Mal Hashem Bekichesh Bamisa. He lies to his friend, denying that he ever gave him anything. And then he swears falsely, and then admits to it, he has to be an Asham Gazelis. So now we said, Rabbi Yassi was of the opinion that even if his friend entrusted him with a Shlomim to watch, and he swore falsely, there would be a Dinmar of of Asham, of, of an Asham Gazelis, even despite the fact that it's Kachim, is a Raya that it's Mom and Bailam. Gufo, Molamol, Bashem, Larabis, Kachim, Kalim, Shehem, Mono, Dir Rabbi Yassi Aglili. Ben Azai Oimer, Ben Azay says, Lerabos es hashlamim. Now Rashi learns that Ben Azay is coming to explain the words of Rebbe, when Rabbi Yosef Lee said the word kachim kalim. And so Rebbe, Ben Azay is coming to elaborate and explain when, when and this is the way we learned yesterday, that when when um, Rabbi Yosef Lee says kachim kalim, it doesn't mean all across the board kachim kalim, it means a shlamim of kachim kalim. Uh, he said that Ben Azay said that that no, that when did he say his din? He said what? He said it by Bechar. He said he said it by Bechar Bilvad. That's where Rabbi Yossi Hagalili is saying that what that it's Mam and Bailam. Amamar, going now explaining the words of Ben Azay. Ben Azay Yamal Rabbi says Shlomim. That that was Shlomim is 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 Mam and Bailam according to Rabbi Yossi Hagalili. Lemute mai, what does it come to exclude that's not mum and bailim? Ilem lemute bechor, if you're going to, means to be ma'ayir a bechor, that a bechor is not a kachim kalim, excuse me, that a bechor is not mum and bailim. Hashta, uma shlamin, a carbon shlamin, shetunim smicha, one has to rest the hands upon it when they shecht it. Unisachim, it requires a flour accompanied by flowers and, and wine. And the koyin has to wave the chest and the, and the shaykh, the back foot. Um, we say mom and bailim. In other words, it has all these dinim, these kachim dika dinim, and nonetheless, it's considered mom and bailim. Bechor mi boy, do you need to tell me that a bechor is what? Is, is mom and bailim? Of course it's mom and bailim. Now, I could just as easily say a bechor what is. Is Kaidish me Rachem, therefore it's not. Okay, this this uh I have written on the slide of the Gemara over here. I and Ravid Mish in the Sheet of Kubetzes. Okay, so <clears throat> we want to say that right now both both Shlomim and Bechar would be Mum and Bailam. So Bechara, why do you so it can't be to me a Mayat when he said Lurabi says a Shlomim? It means to that Kachim Kalim is Shlomim, and now we're saying and it's also Bechar. So what does it come to exclude? That's not mum and bailam. What kachim kalim is not mum and bailam. What kachim kalim is not mum and bailam. Elo amr Rabbi Yechnon lemute meiser. Now we know that meiser behema the animals bought that bought that year. You bring them to a corral. You start letting them out, and the tenth one you take a stick with red paint on it and you slap it on the back. It's called meiser behema, and it, it's it's uh, eaten by a yisrael and yushalayim as a as a carbon. Good. Kidetanya. It says bebechor nemar. By Bechor, it says the following. Ach Bechor Shor, Oy Bechor Kesev, Oy Bechor Eiz, Loi Sifte, you can't redeem them. If they get a mum, you can't redeem them. 
You don't have to redeem them. You could eat them as what is uh you could eat them as uh, in your backyard. But again, Loisifta, Kaidish Haim, as Domam Tisrak Alamis Bayach, the Shelbum Takdir, burn their fats, he shall rech the Khaif Hashem. So this is what it says by a Bukhar. By Bukhar Nama Loy Sifta, the Nimchar, Tam, you could sell it when it's without a mum, chai while alive, Ubal Mum Chai Bashakut. And not only can you sell it when it's alive, but if it gets a mum, you can even sell it after it's kashachtin. You could sell you could sell it. So therefore, that would apparently be very, very Misa uh mum and bailam dick. But Misa, now what does it say by Misa? It says, Lo Yivake Ben Toivlara, Lo Yumi Reno. There's no dinner bal mum by what? By by Misa. Lo Yivake Ben Ben Toivlara, Lo Yumi Reno. You can't make a tamura. Lo Yigoel. You can't redeem it. You can't redeem it. The Eino Nimchar can't be sold. Lo Yichayv Lo Yishachot. Lo Yitam Lo Yibal Mum. So therefore, Bechor a Misa you see has less shite than you. You can't sell it. You can't do anything with it. You can't. So therefore, we learn out. Lo Yigoel, we learn out from by by Kahanim. By Kahanim, it, it the Pasik says uh by the Khairim of a Koyin, it says Lo Yigoel and it says Lo Yimacher. Lo Yimacher, Lo Yigoel. So just like it says Lo Yigoel by Khairim and, and it says Lo Yimacher, despite the fact by Maisa Behemoth, it only says Lo Yigoel, we'll learn from Khairim, Lo Yimacher, you can't sell. So right now, according to the Slushin fellas, the explanation of Ben Azai in Rabbi Yosei Galili, according to the way Rashi learns, Shlomim would be Mum and Bailim, Bechor would be Mum and Bailim, Maisa Behema would not be Mum and Bailim. So, therefore, if a man would be Makadish and Isha with what with the Maisa Behema, she would not be Mikudesh, right? Because it's not Mum and Bailim. That's the, that's the way we're learning right now. Ravina Masni La Seifa. Ravina learned this dialogue on the Seifa. He didn't learn it on. On Ben Azai, guys, look. Let's go back up above. Back, go down about. Still have to go again. Gufa. Umama was shown Rabbis Kachim Kalam Shem Vemono Di Rabbi Yosei Aglili Ben Azai Oymel Rabbis Says Shlamim. And now we went. We just explained the Gemara. Rabbis Says Shlamim. Abi Yosei Ben Dustoy Oymel Lo Yomer Ben Azai Elu Bechar Bovad. And now we're gonna have the dialogue on that line, that clause, that clause that he only said it on on Bechar Bovad. We're gonna go ahead and 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 focus on that. And we're gonna, as as a result, we'll come out with a different shot in what's considered mum and bailam according to according to Rabbi Yosei Glili. So Ravina says, what does Ravina say? Masni la seifa. He learns on the seifa. Abi Yosei ben Dustoy Oimer le Omer ben Azai el be bechar bilvad. Now only bechar, meaning only bechar lemute mai. Why does it come to exclude? Now, guys, be, be, that's for, just in language. Guys, young men, look at me for a second. In the first lashon, it was the rabbi says shlamim, so it's possible to include shlamim and include something else, as it did. Bechar was included. When you say bechar bolvad, what are you doing? You're limiting it to to one. Good, very good. That's a good focus now, right? You're limiting it. only bechar bolvad. The only one that is what is kachim kalim is bechar. Good now. So le'omer ben azel el bechar bolvad lemute mai ilev lemute shlamim. If you're going to be exclude shlamim, that shlamim is not mamim bailim. Hashda uma bechor shekadosh mirechem memayno who bechor which automatically got kedusha is his money shlamim mi boy shlamim that what that you yourself you owned and you you're the act of making it kadosh ain't no din it should be mamim bailim. I'm Rabbi Yochanan. That was Ravina. I'm Rabbi Yochanan. Ute Maisa. To exclude Maisa, that Maisa is not Mom and Bailam. Kitanya, the Bechor Nemaloi Sifte, Uvinimcha Tam Chai Bamum Chai, Vishachut, Maisa Nami Loi Goyal, Vedinimcha Loi Chai Loi Shachut, Loi Tam Loi Bamum. So now, Lachaira, so what did Yachin say? Yachin said that um, not only is Maisa not, but Bechor is also not. And the problem, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, no, Mute, mute only Maisa. So, it's a to Misa. Now, according to according to uh, the first one, we want to be in Mayat Shlomim, right? A Ravina wants to be in Mayat Shlomim, that only Bechar and not and, and not Shlomim. And then the Gemara wanted to say, no, let's include Shlomim. Madacha Bechar, the Bechar, which is Kaddish Mirachim, is Mamim Bailim, certainly what Shlomim is. Rabbi Yochanan disagreed, and he said, no, it's to be in Mayat it's, no, Bechor, and I'm a Mayat what? I'm a Mayat, I'm a Mayat Maisa. 
Now, going back to what Ravina said, you included something. Besides Bukhar, what did you include? You included Shlomim. With the Svara being, if Bukhar that you don't make Kaddish is Mamim Bailim, Shlomim, which you do make Kaddish, ain't a din, it should be Mamim Bailim. So, in other words, he included something more. But if you notice, I pre- I, pre- I foreshadowed you that Bukhar Bilvad. So the Amnigmar asked right away, how could Ravina have included Shlomim, fellas, if he said only Bukhar Bilvad? Mashma only one. Bishlaim Loy Rabbi Yechanan, it's only one, right? But according to Ravina, it's including uh, uh, Shlomim. It says, Markasha, Enochinami, what is the shver? Enochinami, it's shver. So you have Machloikis in the end. It seems to be that everyone agrees that Maisa not, guys. Everyone agrees that Maisa Behem is not. You can't sell it, you can't do anything. So it makes sense that Maisa Behem is not Mammon Bailim. You have Machloikis by Bechar. You have Machloikis by Bechar. And According to Pashit, Shlomim would, 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 would be Mom and Bailam. Shlomim would be Mom and Bailam. Okay, how did we get into this? We got into it through a diak. What was the diak? The diak was going back to the Mishnah on Daf Tes for a second. Guys, we're going to do it anyway. Go back to the Mishnah on Daf Tes. Tes, tes on the base. Okay, that was, that was the case of what of of uh, you gave over your shore and bar to cherish right of a cotton. That was the case of a bar te- nine and you dug a, a tenth one. She- now, the chasr she'en ba mila, and what was a diak? Me'ila hu deles bahu ha migdash kachin. And that's how we got into this whole sugiwad of 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 a very sick lily. Rob is going to say very simply, guys. The chasr she'en ba mila, meaning what? Hedge it, regular, regular stuff. In regular stuff, there's a din in the zikin. I know it's very easy. Back by us now. Rabbi Omar. Rabbi says, my nechassim shein la mila. When it says the chassim that does not, doesn't have mila, doesn't mean but it's kodesh. Nechassim shein bim din mila. Mumay ninu. What is that? The hedjit. It belongs to a hedjit. And then Rabbi is very easy. Right? If Rabbi Omar, we're listening to hedjit. So you should learn it. So the second time in a few lines, we say the word kasha. Kasha means that you can look for a terrorist. You'll find one. Tiyufta means you, you won't find the terrace until, until Elio shows up, but Kasha means you can find the terrace. Okay. New Gemara, not easy. Okay, let, let me foreshadow you the Gemara. Even according to Rabbi Yossi Aglili, that Kachim column is moment violent, guys, a shlamim. Let's take the animal and break it up into parts. There's the parts that go to the, the, the Kaye, the part that goes to the, the owner. And there's the part that goes to Hashem. The part that goes to Hashem, we call the Imurim. That's the part that gets burnt on the Mizbeah. Oh. Let's say you go ahead and the an animal damages. It pushes with its body. It does, it does, it does uh, Karen, right? Is it doing damage with its meat, with its weight? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it doing damage with the Imurim? Yes. It's all part of the animal. It's doing damage. However, when you come to collect, there's a diff- different, different din. What's the din? We know that what? That a Karen is is a is about is you collect only from the body when it's a tam when it's a muid then you go and collect from the house. So, for example, in a regular case, I have a shore that's worth two hundred dollars. You have a shore that's worth two hundred dollars. My shore kills your shore, and your shore is worth nothing. It's as we say in the vernacular, it's total, right? Your shore is total. So, what do I owe you? I owe you two hundred dollars. However, I pay chatsi chatsi what chatsi nezek. So my animal that's worth two hundred, you're going to sell the animal and take a hundred dollars. That's that's a regular case. What happens if my animal is only worth fifty bucks, guys? What happens if my animal is only worth fifty bucks? That's all you're getting is fifty bucks because you collect you collect my goofa. You collect from the goofa the animal. So even though my animal is worth fifty, went ahead and damaged and totaled a two hundred dollar animal, the most you can collect is fifty dollars. Despite the fact I owe you a hundred, all you can collect is fifty. Okay, let's see. This is Rashi's case. I have an animal that's worth 200. It kills your animal, and your animal is total. It's it's gone. Let's break up my animal that's worth 200 to two parts. The busser is 150 bucks, and the emurim is 50 bucks. Good. Can you collect from the emurim? No. It's it's, it's kachim, right? You can't collect from that. Good. So now, what are you going to collect from? You, you you're owed you're owed how much? You're owed 100 dollars, right? A two you owe 200 dollars. But I only have to pay Chatzinezek. Good. 
you're going to collect chatsi nezek from the busa. My 150, you're going to collect 75 dollars. Uh, right, and that's and that's the point. You're not mechuyev to go ahead and give the money kenege de murim, despite the fact they murim are part of the damage. You do not collect a murim. You have to remove it from the from the from the whole the whole the whole matter over here completely. So 150, you're going to pay 75. Yeah. It's still 115 worth of meat. Doesn't make a difference. I'm paying chatzin ezek. You're only paying chatzin. This animal's you view this animal as a hundred and seventy-five dollar worth of animal. That's what you view it as, because you only view the bus out. You don't you take the murim out of the equation. It's out of the equation totally. So even though the animal can be sold for two hundred dollars, vis-a-vis nazikin, we're going to take the murim out. It's like a hundred and fifty dollars here for that is seventy-five. And you still, but me as the owner, still going to give fifty dollars to Hector, the murim part. What are you talking about? And the, the, my, the, that's the masik. The, 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 <laughs> The Imurim does the damage. It's the mazik. Right, right. Right, it's the mazik, not the nizik. That's the machlek. So you have Rabbi Akiva. We're going to see later on in the Masechta whether you part up, who means you part the completely yankel, or no, you pay Nesek Shalim right away. That's what we're showing in the We saw that daf, 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 ches. Daf, ches. Okay, anyway. Daf, ches. And it says the Gemara. So you, you now you have it, guys. This is, I'm for, I foreshadow you the Gemara. It'll make, it'll make it much easier. Says the Gemara. Oma Rabbi Abba. Says Rabbi Abba. Shlomim sheziku, a shlomim that does damage. Goiva mibsaron, you collect from the basar. Ve'ina goiva meimurim, but you can't collect from the imurim. Says Gemara Pshit, it's pasha like that. Of course, you can't collect from the imurim. Says the Gemara, right? Imurim legavoya salki. Imurim goes to Hashem, so of course you can't. In other words, guys, the havmin is what? I'll collect part of the animal and part of, part of the imurim. No, like tzricha legoiva mibsaron kenege the imurim. Maybe I'll say the following. You know, the Imurim, the, the $50 the damage, I'll take tw- 25 because it's chati, and I'll collect from what? From the meat. Okay. So in our scenario, right, this is, I'm giving you Rashi scenario, guys. Rashi scenario is the following. An animal that's worth 200, it's worth 200, 150 meat, 50 Imurim, kills an animal worth 200, totals the animal. So the damage that you owe him is 100, right? So you may think the following. One second. I collect 75 from the meat. I got $150 of the meat. I collect half of that. Now, I can't collect anything from the Imurim, but I would have to get what, 25 from the Imurim because it's worth 50. So I'll take it from the animal. I'll take it from the busser. You do not go ahead and can, and collect Kenega the Imurim in the busser. You're limited to the 75. That's the Kedisha Revava. That's the Kedisha Revava. A little more information. Gemara Daf Nun Gimel. You, this guy, a shar goes ahead and it knocks another shar into a bar. A shar knocks, knocks a shar into a bar. So now, who pays? The Baal of shar pays and the Baal bar is pata. That's according to the Chachamim. According to, according to Reb Nassim, they both pay. Okay? So again, according to the Chachamim, only the Baal shar is going to pay. And according to Reb Nassim, according to Reb Nassim, they're both going to pay. Good. So let now taking that that concept and applying it to us, the Gemara, it's, the Gemara is going to go ahead and and clear. Says the Gemara the following: Ali the man, you Rabbi is saying it you, you don't collect keneged what they murim. I Ali the Rabbanon pshita haamri they say in Daphne Gimel ki lekalish salume mehai when you can't go ahead and collect from the shar leimish talen mehai you don't collect from the balabar. So, fellas, guys, what's the guys? You hear me saying the balabar is always going to be pata. I the bal shards, it's not worth enough, and and, and you don't collect. When you can't collect from one, you don't collect from the other. So it's pashit by what by us. When you can't collect from the imurim, you're not going to collect from the basa. So what's the chiddush? Like Rav Abba in the chachomim, again the chachomim are tanoim, guys. Even though I have two mazikim here, I have a, a keren a shar. And I have a bar. The, you're not going to collect from the Bala bar. And we don't say, since you can't collect from the Bala bar, collect everything from the Shar. So we don't say over here, since you can't collect from the Imurim, collect from the Basar. So it's Pashit. Rav Abba, you're saying something Pashit according to Atana. You're not telling us anything. So according to Rev, the guys, you hear? You hear the, the Mashal and the Nimshal, right? It, it, you, you can't compare the two. I mean, you, what are you telling me, Rav Abba? That since you can't collect from the Imurim, you collect from the Basar? The Chacham say that already. Since you can't, you don't say since you can't collect from the Bala Habar, you collect from the Bala Shar. Now, what does Reb Nassim say? 
you collect from both, correct? Meaning, Lloyd Reb Nassin, you should collect from the Basel can they get the Imurim. Lloyd Reb Nassin, when you can't collect from the Balha Shar, you're going to collect from the Balha Bar. I mean, you collect from, you're going to collect from both. So Mamela, according to him, you would collect Kenegade Murim. You would get the other fifty dollars in Rashi's scenario. Oh, okay, good. So, oh, so hang in there. That's Gemara's Meitat Chelik. But again, that's what the Gemara wants to know right now. The Gemara wants to write, right, right now. L'chayra, what are you saying? If you're saying like like the Chachamim, it's Pashit. And if you're saying Reb Nassin, you're disagreeing with Reb Nassin. Reb Nassin would agree with you. Reb Nassin would say, "Einachinami, you would collect the bus of Kenegade Murim." Iba is Ema Reb Nassin. Iba is Ema Rabbanon. I can tell you one opinion. It's going to the Rabbanon. One according to Reb Nassin. Iba is Ema Rabbanon. Hani Mili. When the Rabbanon say their din that when you don't pay from one, you don't collect from the other. That's Hani Mili betray Gufe. You have a bala shar in a bar. Avo bechad Gufa where it's one entity. Matzi Yamale. We call Hecha de Bein in Mishnah Alma. Any place I want to collect, I can collect. So even I should be able to collect. Kenega de Imurim. In other words, the Chachamim, Avi just said it. You, they say they did, when you can't collect from the Balabar, you don't, you don't collect from Balashar. It's the same thing over here. You can't collect from the Imurim, you can't collect from the... No, 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 no. Maybe over here, you would collect the Basa. So it's a Chiddush like the Chachamim. What about Reb Nassin? Reb Nassin says, L'chayr, that you should collect, right? Ibai is saying, Reb Nassin, Hassam over there by the Balashar and the Balabar, the Amle Balashar and the Balabar, the following. I'm not too roy bibircha ishka chose. Where did I find my, my shar? I found it in your pit. My the Leslie the Shalume Mehayef, but I can't collect from the Bala Shar. Mishalim Laminach, I'll collect from you. After all, clearly you did the damage. Avo Haka. But over here, where they're both doing damage, me Matsi Omar Bossa Azik a Murim Loy Azik. Is he able to say that what? The Bossa did damage, the Murim did not do damage? Therefore, you can't claim more basa since they were also part of the mazik. One wasn't more mazik than the other. It wasn't clear also who did the damage. You don't, you don't see who did which. which by, 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 by the bar, you know, it did the damage over here. Who did This one did more damage. This one, you know, you can't, you can't go ahead and evaluate that. So Menela, over here, it's, it's a chiddush over here. You'd say that according to Reb, according to Reb Nassin, what are you going to say? The boss did the damage, they moved didn't do damage. The they both did damage. They both did damage. Therefore, I would think that what you're not able to collect from the boss, but you're not able to collect from the Imurim, the Mashmalon, like Reb Nassim, that you would. Mashmalon, Reb Nassim, that you would. New din. Guys, a toida for four situations. A person goes ahead, comes out of the midbar, comes out of the hospital, comes out of a, 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 an ocean vo a voyage in the desert, or it comes out of base of sur and comes out of prison. Well, you have to be a carbon. Toida. What a carbon toida is, it's a shlamim. It's unique that it's eaten for a day and a night, as opposed to a shlamim that's eaten for two days and a night, that's eaten for one day and a night. Beautiful, uh, the beautiful Ebenezer says the reason is is you want to be marba reyus. You want to go ahead and, and the person you want to be might you want to maximize your thankful to Akadish Baruch. Hu. So if you can only eat for a day and a night, you're gonna invite more people to make sure it doesn't become nicer by leaving it out overnight. So if it's a regular shlamim, you have more time to eat it. By, by going ahead and, and minimizing the time you eat it, it's going to cause more people to come to eat it. In addition to what? In addition to what? What? Does it also have more, more lechem? I'm just going to... In addition to that, it doesn't have more lechem. It has it has lechem. The only other carbon that has lechem is watch. it put you on the spot. A nazir. Lechem and nazir, right? Okay. But uh, there's, there's four types of... Four types. Three of them which are not chametz. One which is chametz. And the forty altogether, you give you give what from the kain, you give what uh, one of each to the kain, and that's they becomes kaidish. The lachmi kaidish comes kaidish with the shchita what of the animal. Uh, so now, with that in mind, Amarava, taida shehezika, a taida that does damage, a taida is a mazik, it does karen, goiva mibsara, you collect from its basa, veini goiva milachma, right, and you don't collect from its lechem. So let's get this straight. My toida kills a shar or kills something, causes X amount of damage. Where do you pay from? You pay me gufoy. You pay now this guys. This is obviously according to Rabbi Yosei Glili, right? Because I'm a violin, right? Obviously according to Rabbi Yosei Glili, right? So 
the person, the nizik, is going to have to eat in Yerushalayim. It's it's kachim kalim. Kachim kalim can only be in Yerushalayim. So you're going to eat the busser in Yerushalayim. You got to make sure you're tahar, right? With all the you know the halachas of of, of kachim, good. But you don't go ahead want and collect from the lechem. It says more pshita, right? It's pashit. The, the lechem didn't do anything wrong. It says more sefitz michalei. Nizik oichel basar. The, the nezik eats the basar. The nizik eats the basar. Who mischaper and the owner of the carbon may be lechem. He brings the lechem. So even though the mischaper, the one who who got out of prison, the one who who got got a, who got cured, is not eating the meat. Nonetheless, he's bringing lechem. It says Hanai Pshita. That's also Pashit. It's it's what does one have to do with the other? It doesn't know. No, I would say the following. Tame, I might think, even the lechem echshera de zevachu, since the lechem is machshed de zevach, le let the owner say, At achalta basava. No, I say lechem. You're going ahead and and eating the meat, and I'm going to bring the lechem. If the purpose of the lechem is to be machshed abasa, guys, the purpose of the lechem is to be machshed abasa. So how's it possible that I'm bringing the lechem and I'm, I'm not getting anything with the basa, right? So Kamash Mulan, that what? The lechem chiyuv with the bailam hu. The lechem is a chiyuv on the bal to bring. The lechem is, is a chiyuv on the bal to bring. It's mechapa for the bal. And since it's mechapa for the bal, the kapar is a funny lushen. Since it's like brought for the bal, then what? Then he brings the lechem, even though the fact he's not eating the meat. Okay, so what do we see? We saw a chiddish. We said that. Let, let's go over. We saw we saw a chiddush that what that if a, a shlamim does damage, a shlamim does damage, you can't collect keneged the baser. You can't collect keneged the baser. They murim. According to Rabbi, Rabbi um, according to the Rabbanon, uh, it seemed to be pashit. We, we said it's not so pashit because it's different than the case of the case of the Rabbanon who said if you find a, a shark throws an animal into a bar, the balabar is pata. So too over here they murim should pata. One goes that's two different animals here. It's one kamash one. That's no difference. And then you have the din of what of of uh, the Reb, Reb, uh, Reb Nassim who says you are chayev here also he would say you chayev he would hold you chayev over here despite the fact over here you might think that why one not the other kamash Uh now we have a din of of uh, a toida that does damage so now the person that you did damage to you chayev to collect from the toida itself because it's a it's a tam and <laughs> tam collects mikufoi so therefore you would get he would eat the basa the nizik would eat the basa and the person who brought the carbon would bring the lechem, because the chiyav on him, despite the fact that he's not eating the basa. Okay, the next dinner of the Mishnah was Nechassim Shein, Shein Shel Bnei Bris. Where do we find the parish of Nesikin? By Nechassim that belonged to a Bnei Bris, Lemute Mai, Ilemute Ervi Kechavim, if it's in Mai at that, if you damage a guy, Hakatani Lula Kamon, Shor Shei Yisrael, Shenagak Shor Shel Ervi Kechavim Pater. So what, in other words, what are you telling me? The Allah that the Allah of Nesikin only applies by a Jew to a Jew, not a Jew to a guy. It says that later on. It's a Mishnah and Daflam and Zion. So what are you telling me over here? It says Gemara Chanami. Says the Gemara. Tano b'hadim mafarish. We we learn it, and later on it's explained. So when it says over here, Nechosam sheemen shall bnei bris, it's got to be a person who what is a bnei bris and not what and not not a guy. Then it says Nechosam yuchadim. Where do you find where do you find the halachas of by Nechosam yuchadim? That's when there's the parsha of the Zikin. What does yuchadim mean? Lamute mai. What's it coming to exclude that that clause? Um, Rabbi Yehuda, lemute zel oy mesharcha hisik, bezel mesharcha hisik. Now, uh, what it means, it seems to say nechasim yuchadim that it's specific. You know specifically who the mazik was. Now, let's say we have two sharim, two shvarim running after another shar, and you go ahead and you find the shar dead. This one says your guy did it. This one says your guy did it. So lechayra over there, you'll be potter. Why? Because it's not miyuchet. You don't know who it is. Uh, but again, but you're saying it's miyuchet. In other words, what's the lashon? We are learning lashon in the Mishnah. It says nechasa miyuchadim, right? What does miyuchadim mean? It means miyuchad. You have to know who the mazik is, and here you don't know who the mazik is. It says the Gemara, hatanul kaman ha'yishnayim right from achar echad achar echad zelay meshar chizik v'zelay meshar chizik shnei b'turim. They're both potter. And again, it's a din, as Yankel said, of Dinah Moisim Echavar al But the bottom line is, they're potter. It says the Gemara, Tani Vadim Afarish, Enochinami, this will be the same terrets. Miyuchadim means you have to know who the owner is. So we learn it over here, and later on, we explain it on Daflam and Hay. Bin Masnita Tana, in a Tosefta, we learned the following. Prat Lenichse Hefker. Miyuchadim means that what? It's Miyuchad to a person. 
But if your shor damages a shor of hefka, you part that. Now, the obvious question is, so who's, who's right? So what, what, what's the case of your shor damaging a shor of hefka, correct? So what's the problem? Obviously, who's going to be taivea you? Who's going to make a claim from you? Says the Gemara to follow. Hey, dummy. He lamed the nogach tura di don le tura de hefker. If you're going to tell me that what? You are sure, gore the sure of hefker. Man tovale. Who's going to go ahead and make a claim? El, it must be the nogach tura de hefker le tura di don. It must be a, a, a loose shar, an unowned shar, gore your shar. So you putter, lazel the lace, go ahead and take the shar. <laughs> In other words, no one owns that shar, so what's stopping you from taking it? So why do you have to tell me that what that this din does not apply? So says, well, I'll tell you what the case is. The case is Bishakodim Bizokha Ba'acha. Someone beat you to the punch. You have the shar that's a, a shar that doesn't have an owner. The shar goes ahead and goes your shar. Before you had a chance to make a claim on that shar, another person did. The chiddush is that that person does not have to pay you anything, despite the fact he's holding on to the mazik. Because the, why? Because it's not nechasim miyuchadim. Because it doesn't have a owner. So at the time of damage, there's no owner. There is no chiyav of nizikin. He's not There's not not there is nothing. Right. Again, the lotion is the chasim yuchadim. There is no miyuchad. There's no miyuchad. There's no owner. There's no owner. Ravina Amar, Ravina says, Mute nogach v'yaka chigdish. Shog nogach v'yaka pifka. Your shor goes ahead and it and it damages and you magdish the shor. Your shor goes ahead and it's magdish and you mafka the shor. In that case, you'll be potter. In that case, you'll be potter. Uh, so, no, uh, we're going to see it's a kosev. You have to have an owner from the time of the damage until the hamad of din. And that, in other words, you it's not, you would say like Benji just said, in one second, if you had an owner at the time of the damage, so that's too late. And we're going to see Gezer Sarkosev, see Gezer Sarkosev, that it's not like that at all. So what, what would you gain? You, you wouldn't have, have to pay? pay yeah. You lost your shore. That's your shore. You're paying from the shore. It's not, it's, it's not, not a good trick over here. It's not a Jewish account, right? It's, it's not a Jewish account over here. Okay, yeah, says yeah, the Gemara. Yeah, Yes, Rav Kain Amar of Yehuda Tanya Nami Hachi Afilu Nogach Viaka Higdish Nogach Viaka Hifke Pata Shenemar because the pasuk says the following. The pasuk says Im Shor Nagachu Milt Mol Shol Shoyim. The Shor gores three times. For who it be Balav and it's like worn, it becomes a muid by with its owner. For Lo Yish Merena, the Hamis Ish Oi Isha, and now it kills a person. So you have it says the shor yisakal and it says it says vahu ebibolov and then it says vigam bibolov you must. So we have two baolov with this mashma. You have to be a bal at this point and you have to be a bal at that point, right, guys? That's how Rashi learns. It says you have to be a bal at that point and a bal at that point. So vahu ebibolov the hamisish the goimer and that the goimer is important because the limit is from the other baolov. That the from the time of Misa to the Hamad Bedin, you have to have the same owner. Now, guys, when the Pasik says Ba'olov, it said, look when it said Ba'olov, it said the Hamis Isha Isha, Hasha Yi Sakal Vagam Ba'olov you must. It said Hasha Yi Sakal Vagam Ba'olov. Mashma ready, it's after the Gemaradin because it's saying. Not enough Hamad did in the beginning of the court case. It's Mashman has to be all over the time of the Skila, which is after the Hamad did So says the Gemara, you're right. Pray the Gemara Kasha, the Gemara Din Loi Be Inin, Hasha Yisakal, the Gemara Din of the Kasha. It says, but all of the Gemara Din when the Shah is being killed. Ella Eimer, what do you have to say? I said, hey, Misa, the Hamad did in the Gemara Din Shavin. Till the Misa, Hamad did in the Gemara Din equal, Keachad. So therefore, since you were good, you were the owner at the time of the Nagicha. But you are Magdashid or Mafkarit, so you're not the owner at the time of the Hamada or the Gemar Din, then the Shar you'll be Pata. You'll be Pata. I mean, you're not getting off scot free again, you're losing your Shar. So, yeah, I would go ahead and be Magdashid Shar, Yanko. Maybe might be a little better off, right? You get something out of it. Oh, 
unless the, get unless you throw it. Get, get a receipt. <laughs> get a receipt. Unless, <laughs> the, damage, unless the pay, get a pay cut. Unless no, unless the damage that the other show is worth more. Yeah, 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 again. But again, it is uh now the next thing was that when does when is the, they know if it's the in the short the the doesn't to the mazik. So your short wanders into my rishus, my short then kills your shore. I'm potter. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you tell the Nizik, Torcha Bishusi, my boy, what is your shore doing in my property? It shouldn't be there. But like, this is Jewish, this is Jewish law. Now, the next case was Vishus Hanizik Vehamazik. Okay. Vishus Hanizik Vehamazik. Okay, so if you look at the Mishnah, guys, let me foreshadow you the next piece of Gemara. Let's look at the Mishnah back on that test, okay? You can learn the following. It says, uh, uh, Now we know there that, that he's potter. Right? And if you stop there, you're also potter, correct? Mm -hmm. Good? You guys got it? In other words, you re if you read it that way, then you're potter. Just like you're potter in the Rishus of the Mazik, you're mm -hmm. potter in the communal Rishus of the Nizik Mazik. There's another way to read it. Stop. You can that goes to the latter part. So the Rishus and Yuchedis Nizik Lamazik, yeah, doesn't mean you're Chayev or you're Potter. It depends how you read it and depends upon the din. So it says, let's see the Gemara now. That's Rishus and Nizik Lamazik. Uh, they both have a shush to be there. Chayiv bala shem vala regal. Now, fellas, shem vala regal is beer biste acher. Shem vala regal is not in 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 mishus. It's not. It's part of mishus rabim. It has to be ubir biste acher. That's the mishus of the nizik. So the question is, if you own a communal property and your animal goes ahead and eats up the, the property of the other person or walks over it and destroys it, is that considered mishus nizik and yechayiv, or is it considered mishus rabim yepater? So Rav, Avimi is saying that what? You will be chayv and shame v'regel. Because we're going to read it the following. Barachi Kamar. Here's the way you read the mish Mishnah. Chutz mishus ha miyuchedes l'mazik, the potter, period. Now, v'rishus ha nizik v'amazik, kishe hezich ha v'amazik. In other words, that's the latter way I, I read it, right? You're going to go yeah. from there, and you're going to go into the latter part of the pasik. The yichayv. Rav Elazo, I mean, no. Potter ala shame v'ala regel. You will be potter, because it's considered Rishus Harabim, because you both have a right to be there. Just like you both have to be a right in Rishus Harabim, if you have a Chutz of Shutvin, you both have a right to be there. And here's the way you read it. Chutz mi Rishus ha'am yuchedes l'mazik, that you potter, right? Rishus, Torch Rishus and my boy, what's your animal doing in my Rishus? And now, in addition, Rishus ha'nizik v'amazik nami potter. Why? Because it's considered Rishus Harabim, since you both have a right to be there. And now, Ukshahizik ha'amazik v'asuya keren. And the, and the Kishizuch Havamazik comes to go ahead and include Karen. Notes. According to the first Lashin, Kishizuch Havamazik is telling me I'm Chayiv in Mishus Hanizik Havamazik. According to the latter one that I'm Potter, what's it coming to do? It's coming to go ahead and, and include Karen. Now we have to go back in time. Arba Ovis Nazikin, Hashor Vehabar, Vahamab Vahaheva. Let's read the Mishnah according to Shmuel. Arba Ovis Nazikin, Hashor, Regel, Habar, Bar, Mava, Shain, Heva, Fire. Why Shor has three, 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 three mazikim? It has Shane, it has Regal, and has Karen. Why did you leave Karen out? We said because our mission is speaking about Mu'ad and Mithkilaslan, those that pay Nesik Shalim right away. Where do you know that, that Karen's a mazik? Says the Gemara, this, this Mishnah, our Mishnah, that test, the words, Kishahizah have a mazik, comes to include Karen. Good? Mm -hmm. That works out great according to Shmuel. What about Rav, guys? Rav learned Shor is all three. So why does the Kishahizah have a mazik? According to Rav, what does it come to include? That's what we're doing right now. Says the Gemara. Now, Hanichel is Shmuel, who says that Shor and Regal are included and not Karen, so you need Kishihisich Havamasik to include Karen. El Rav, Omar, Tana, Shor, Vechol, Mili, the Shor, when it says Shor, it means all three. 
Shor Karen Shem Veregel, Chava Masik Lasuye Mai, Chava Masik, what does it come to include? Lasuye Hoda Tonor Abonam, Kish Hiz Chava Masik, Lehevi, Shoy Machinom, the Hashoyel, the Nice Socher, the Hasoycher. A person who watches for free, a person who borrows, a person who rents, and a person watches for Sar. Shezika Behema Bishason, right? If the behemoth does damage in their shus, hamishalim chatsi nezik umuid mishalim nezik shalem. If it's alive, if you close up the animal correctly and it breaks out for whatever reason, and you're an honest because it breaks out at night, oishar pertzul listim or listim opened up the door, then biyotzav azika pata. Okay, biyotzav azika. So that's what it comes to include. So according to according to Rab Shmuel kishis chamasik to include Karen. According to Rav, Masik, the Chai of the four Shoimrim, and tomorrow Bez Hashem will see what the case what it's speaking about. Have a great evening. Let's do a, let's do some Tilim, okay?